it's a middleweight championship fight between Israel Adesanya and smiling Sam Alvey. So here he is, the number one middleweight contender getting set for this 185 pound title fight. He believes this title shot should have come a long time ago, but he has let bygones be bygones. The focus now, unseating the champion in dominant fashion and starting a new middleweight legacy of his own. 25 minutes or fewer away from becoming the new champion. We will see how he performs tonight. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. This man ubiquitously regarded as the top 85er at present. Some people believe this is the greatest middleweight of all time. He certainly does, and he has goals even beyond that. He wants to be one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time, and in order to preserve that goal, this is a title defense, simply put, that he's got to have. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Three years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve LeVay. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 33 wins, 16 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Temecula, California, presenting the challenger, smiling Sam Alvey. And now introducing the champion, out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Israel the last dial bender. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch gloves and we are underway. dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Just misses there with the left. 
Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Adesanya. Lands a big right hand early. Adesanya gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Oh! Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. And he landed the right hand there. gets hit by that kick to the body. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Real oh, sneaky yeah. body kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Alvi circling now towards the left. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up. Let's go. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Just over two minutes, round one. Nice loop and punch. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just missed with the left there. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Adesanya gets touched by that kick there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And now he's got the tie clinch. 60 seconds now to go in the fight. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He went high on that one. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, just missed on the overhand left. That might have done some damage. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Round two next. Hey, stop. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. 
All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Man, his counters are on point tonight. The jab is good. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Flips the guard, lands the right hand. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, good job defensively to block the strike there by Alvin. Hands high, hands high. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Just out of range with that right hand. Just over three minutes to go. Great punch. Going orthodox now. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Huge block there. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Alvi's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Good punch, Lance. Trying to establish that jab once again. Checks that leg kick. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! He's hurt bad. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Nice defense there, huge block. You gotta get this takedown. 15 seconds. <laughs> 10 seconds to go. 
Nice punch land. Oh, single collar tie here. Ten minutes in the books. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's... Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Big body kick land. Good body. You don't know when that leg kicks coming. Back and forth we go. Adesanya gets the tie clinch here, now landing to the body. Single collar tie. And they separate. Try to establish that jab. Visibly limping here. Oh, big punch lands. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Alvi gets hit with a kick. Big leg kick lands. Right hand on point. Three minutes to go in round three. Nice straight punch. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes... Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side, really mixing up the motion at which he moves. And they separate. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Leg kick. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Blocks the shot. He missed with that jab attempt there. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Muay Thai plump. Alvi's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. I want that takedown now. Hey. 
just missed with the straight left hand. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh! 20 seconds left. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Final seconds of round three. Israel Adesanya gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship Ready? rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Ooh, blocks the shot. Slips the punch. Ooh. Oh, straight right. Punches and punches, punches and punches. Let's go. Smiling Sam Alvey gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Adesanya's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Stop waiting. Adesanya going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Nice punch lands over the top. Back in the clinch, look for takedown. He's very good at changing levels when he can get to this clinch position and get in close. Nice, keep moving. And then take shot, now, take shot. Went for the inside leg kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Lancing right hand lands upstairs. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round four. Oh, he just heard him, he just heard him. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Adesanya. Just missed on the overhand left. Good head movement there. Alvi gets caught. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Adesanya's kick to the body is blocked. 90 seconds remain in the round. All right, single collar tie now. And there comes the separation now. Oh, 
big kick lands. Israel Adesanya's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Watch knees to the body. Final minute. Adesanya going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. 45 seconds remain in the round. Forward, forward, forward. Slips the punch. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Holy His lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Ten seconds to go in round four. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, man, what a performance by Asanya. Oh, huge right hand. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. That is it. should say so. A tremendous kick to end that fight tonight. Caught his opponent flush, full force, full extension, and he had no chance to stay in this fight. Fight was over as soon as that kick made flush contact. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. In this contest at 34 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. the king of the 185 pounders. There he is, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion after the knockout tonight in his title defense. And that's got to feel pretty good. There were a lot of people backing the number one contender coming in here tonight, but he certainly muted all of that noise and then some. The celebration is on in the corner. Congratulations to the reigning defending, still undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world.